Okay, so this is uh, the end of July. And I haven't heard the harp frequencies for quite a while. Um, they just started up last night again. And typically they'll start in the evening. Uh, this, this, and then sometimes, other times they would start early in the morning, say around three o'clock. Um, these are the these are the times that the smart meters recalibrate and rebroadcast. I don't know if it has anything to do with the the smart meters or not. Um, we have the Gwen towers, the cell phone towers that can broadcast radio frequencies uh, pretty much anytime they want. Uh, and so that may be what's happening. Uh, we also we also know that the Navy is testing uh, weapons off the uh, Pacific Coast here as well. They may be testing sonar, radar, who knows. Uh, so uh, at this point, um, I just wanted to talk about the fires. Now, basically I've seen the sprays uh, modify the weather for the last four years. And the sprays are actually the patents in the, in, on the weather modification uh, programs indicate the use of sulfur and barium and aluminum. Alumina. These are fire propellants. So if we have uh, weather modification activity spraying nanoparticulates of barium, aluminum, strontium, sulfur, things like that, we're gonna have pretty bad fires. And last Friday, or this Friday, um, last Friday I could smell the smoke from the Redding fires. And we could see uh, well, it's been overcast pretty much for the last few days. And so it's all overcast. There's no, there's no clearing at all. And there's a monarch. So that's my geoengineering report today. For today again, briefly. I can smell the Redding fires. Uh, the Redding fires, they actually may be, uh, they have may have designed the fires to clear um, areas for uh, sort of planned unit development, development FEMA, uh, sort of planned unit housing. And, uh, Again, the harp frequencies have started up again. I haven't heard them for uh, several months, but they have started up again. I haven't heard them doing any spraying today. Um, usually I can hear them overhead spraying. Um, when they started broadcasting the frequencies last night as well, as you can tell, I live near the highway and I can normally hear the traffic on the highway. When they started bre broadcasting the frequencies, the, the traffic on the highway was pretty much down to none. And that was about three o'clock in the morning. We had no traffic. Usually there's some traffic, but uh, anyway, it was unusually quiet last night when they started br broadcasting the uh, harp frequencies. The harp frequencies, uh, whatever they are, um, uh, electromagnetic radio waves to manipulate the sprayed materials and or the jet stream. Um, 
uh, that's what I'm talking about as far as the high harp frequencies go. Now they don't have to particularly be in Kokona, Alaska. They can be up from a satellite and be, be beamed down. So they can be beamed down from the satellites and supposedly pinpointed to minute areas. Um, and they can also be uh, on ships. The uh, transmitters, large transmitters can be on ships. And um, as, and on trucks as well. So the harp frequency broadcasters can be mobile. They can, I would imagine they can run, possibly run through the utility lines, through the smart meters, through the cell phone Gwen towers. And so we, we are basically uh, being inundated by these frequencies and the frequency each thought has a frequency and so they can induce thought patterns thinking patterns and um, uh, various other things by broadcasting these frequencies uh, so thanks for watching stay alert and uh, have a good day